This contest for Sinister with a hit. Some of our camera crew trying to get uh, things taken care of lunch wise, so we'll have everything back up and running in a second. We appreciate your patience. Long day with eight games. Got to make sure everybody's well fed. Here's Rick said logic. That logic flying out. And here is Kevin Philby. Todd Turling at the plate with two on and one out. And this one cranked to center field. And Todd Sherling retired. Frown number two. Jeff Cross wishing uh, good luck to Sinister. Hoping that his squad can get some wins for him and the new baby girl. Congratulations, Jeff. I have one coming my way in December. Here's Casey Rakowski. This one hit to right field. It's going to score two runs. Sinister striking first. Down retires the side. Brandon Dillon retired. So Woodlaw will come to the plate in the bottom of the first when we come back after this word. USSA is the largest multi-sport athletic association in the world. 
Headquartered in beautiful Osceola County, Florida, USSA has now grown to 3.7 million members competing in 14 sanctioned sports. From fast pitch softball, basketball, taekwondo, and golf to being one of the largest youth baseball programs in the country, USSA has a sport for you. Log on to USSA.com to find out how you can take part. Play the best and play USSA.
All right, we'll try to find out from Mr. Rick what happened there. But obviously a conversation involving the bats. I'm sure he'll get us a better explanation. Here's Chris Larson in the bottom of the first. Woodlaw trailing by two. And Mitch Mabe circling the banks into third with a triple. Dennis Schrum. Two to one. Sinister in the lead. Bouncing ball. It's going to be out number one. Schrum retired. Here's Mark Dennis. I misplayed it short, but still the throw. The first in time to retire, Dennis. And we're tied 2 2. John Dutch at the plate. Backhanded, Dutch retired. McGavin retiring all three that inning. Woodlaw scoring two, we're tied to two after an inning.
Hey, Matt. Well, looks like I'll be your third broadcaster here. Bernard went to get something to eat. Basically, he handed the headset over to me. We got two outs here in the top of the second. The line drive to center. And on first and second with two outs. I can already tell I do not have the broadcasting voice. That's a line drive to center. It's going to advance the runners. Base is loaded. And brings up the top of the order with Shooter. Expect a base knock up the middle here. And that's a 
exactly what you get. Very well anticipated. And that's the end of the inning. We come back, bring you the bottom of the second. 2-2. Two -two. Taisha Sports is the official apparel partner of the USSA. With Taisha Sports, you can have your team looking like the pros with personalized youth packages starting at around only $100 per player. This package includes one personalized jersey, a pair of pants, backpack, and a Taisha Sports flex fit cap. Go to TaishaSports.com where you'll find additional items to suit your sporting needs, such as high quality roller bags, batting gloves, and footwear. Taisha Sports, where it begins. We're in the bottom of the second. Valenti leads off for Woodlaw. The left fielder. So here's the situation. They called me down there. Woodlaw added a bat to their barrel. So they went from 20 to 21. So what we did is we pulled the bat. We tested that bat. And we will hold that bat till the end of the tournament before their next game, as soon as this game's over, we'll test all 20 that are in the barrel, and if any of those bats fail, then Woodlaw would have to forfeit. So win or lose, we will check their bats. Whaley, oh, it drops in the right field. Dutch and Poplin let it fall between them. So that's where we are in the bat issue. And we're here in the bottom of the second. That was Rogowski and Kirian that let that ball fall. Ball's hit well to center field. Brandon Dillon turned around. One run in. Ryan Parfit the batter. In there for strike run. Runners at second, third. Nobody out. Woodlaw up 3 2. Ball tails back. Brandon Dillon with the grab. Tag up at third. That's Whaley. That'll bring in the fourth run. 4 2 Woodlaw. Sinister, the fifth seed. Woodlaw, the 12th seed. Woodlaw out of Texas. Sinister out of Mi Michigan. Doug Wood, sponsor player. The catch of the banner. Woodlaw. 
Wood, well, Doug Wood gets on with another hit. A little flare out to right center. So runners at first and third. One out, bottom of the second. Justin Mucciarelli, Mooch, the batter. Nice running grab by Dillon. Tag up at third will score the fifth run of the inning. Excuse me, the fifth run of the game. Third run of the inning. As Woodlaw takes a 5-2 lead. Chris Larson, the batter, led off the game with a home run in the first. Willie Allen with the grab out in left field, retires the side, bottom of the second. Woodlaw pushes across three. They have a 5-2 lead as Sinister comes to bat in the top of the third. Live at ESPN Wide World of Sports. Rick said logic leads off for Sinister with a double. Shoots it right down the left field line. The left-handed batter shoots it to the opposite field, and that'll bring up Kevin Philby, the catcher. Philby gets under it. Just a matter of it's fair or foul. And he strolls back to the dugout with a two run home run. Making the score 5 4. The ball was high and it was long. And we have a tough angle here in our announcer's booth. Todd Jerling, Hall of Famer, 
Crowns to second. Poplin over to Mitch Mame. One away, Casey Rogowski, the batter. It's a fly ball to right field for an out. Rick's the man of the week, so whenever his phone rings, he must go. Brandon Dillon is going to most likely triple, if anything, if not score. And he's going for it all. And that's an inside the park home run. Good hustle all the way around the bases. Scores five to five here in the top of the third. Go ahead, Matt. Oop. Matt O'Hare subbing in. That's roster issues, phone calls, bats. Bernie's getting us back up online on Facebook. Carrying in the left with a single. And Sinister has tied this game 5-5. They pushed across three. Bowker the batter. Two down. Right through the box. Karen into second. Bowker in first with a single. You know, Rick, I've heard Bernie say before it wouldn't be that hard to hit a home run out of here. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> You want to see me and Bernie in a home run derby? <laughs> you know, Rick, it, I had heard Matt said that it's not that difficult to do play by play, so he was supposed to get an entire game. It's been rough so far. There is uh, Doug grounding out to retire the side. 5-5 five, five our scores. We head to the bottom of the third.
from the third. Mitch Mabe hits one into right field. Takes a big turn at first. So Mabe's on first. Dennis Shrum, the batter. Balls hit deep to center field. Oh. And Brandon Dillon unable to come up with it. Ball kept fading away and away. So Mabe's on third, Shrum's on second, nobody out. Coach has called time, Freddie. Out talking to Billy Barrett, Kevin Philby carrying over. Here comes Shooter McGavin. Brandon Dillon may have hurt himself on that play out in center field. We're knotted up 5-5. Five, five. Cleanup hitter Mark Dennis will bat. So Dennis to batter, runners at second, third, Mitch Mabe at third, Dennis Shrum over at second, nobody out, 5-5 five, five game. Dennis into the right field. Two runs will score. Seven five now. Woodlaw takes the lead. John Dust, the right fielder. Nobody out still. Runner on first. Bottom of the third. Williana with a nice dry, diving try, unable to come up with it. Ball hops into center field. So Dutch on first with a single. Mark Dennis over to third. Runners on the corners, nobody out. Balls hit well on the run in the gap. One hopper against the fence rolls off the top. 
Dutch into third. I believe it's Mark Dennis scores eight now for Woodlaw. Runners at second, third, still nobody out. Steve Whaley, the batter. Rogowski in right. Dutch tags up, scores the ninth run. Ball's fouled out of play. 9-5 Woodlaw over Sinister, bottom of the third. Billy Barrett on the mound for Sinister. Whaley the batter. McGavin is short up with it. Looks to run her back at third. Fires over to first. And Kirian. Comes up with a grab for the second out of the inning. Umpires for this game behind a plate. Proud of Arkansas, Jason Oberlag down at third. Chuck Doc Beckwell, Hall of Fame inductee in November. Over at second, Tony Walzak down at first. Dwayne Posovich. Call him Drano. Parford flies out for the third, the third out of the inning. So here we are. Woodlaw scores four. They go two, three, and four on the runs. That gives them nine. Sinister has only got five. And we go to the top half of the fourth. Live at ESPN Wide World of Sports, men's major U-Triple-S-A World Series. Live on u live.com. Hey, this is Brett Helmer with Easton Sports. I'm Brian Wegman with Easton Sports. Getting ready to drop some bombs with the 09 Easton Batline. The truth is, there is a difference. The difference is Easton. The truth is, I hit bombs.
That's high. And that's deep. And it's plenty long. Billy Barrett, two-run home run. Willie Allen let off with a single. And then Barrett follows it up with a home run over the right field. Uh, pretty far out there, about 357. Shooter McGavin, the batter. And there for strike one. Graven into center. That's the first out of the inning. And Rick said logic is the batter. Rick said logic. A member of the all conference team. along with Casey Rogowski. Rogowski, a first-teamer. Philby, a first-teamer. Rick said logic, second-team all-conference. Philby drills it into the right field corner. John Dutch able to, unable to come up with it. Rattles around. So we'll have runners at second and third for Sinister. Still only one away. And the veteran Todd Jerling, USSA Hall of Famer. Third baseman will step to the plate. He shoots one into right, and that ball's gone. That jumped right out of here on the right field side. Three-run shot for the veteran. So Sinister now has taken the lead, 10-9 to nine over Woodlaw on that three-run home run by Todd Jerling. Casey Rogowski with a drive into the right field corner. And he's on second with a stand-up double. So there's one runner on, one out. And Brandon Dillon. And as a sidebar, Brett, Hi excuse me, Todd Jerling moves up to third place on the all-time official World Series records for hits. He's also third in the most at bats. He's been around the game a long time. True gentleman, Todd Jerling, third baseman, number 25 for Sinister. Well, two outs now. Chris Kirian, the batter. That ball's in the gap. I don't know if he can get to it, but he does. Left fielder Justin Falenti chases it down, and that retires the side here in the top half of the fourth. Sinister with five runs takes the lead 10 9 over Woodlaw. 
Live at ESPN Wide World of Sports, Men's Major World Series brought to you by Bush Light. That was Doug Wood with the leadoff double here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Justin Mucciarelli, the pitcher up. Nobody out. Wood down there in second. And a Mooch flies out to left. Said logic. I believe said logic is now in center. Him and Dylan, I believe, is swapped. The left hander said logic in center field. Chris Larson, the batter, let off the game for Woodlaw with a home run. Wood will come in to score. Bowker, the second baseman, comes up with it. Flips it over to Kirian, so there's one away. So this game here in the bottom of the fourth is all tied up 10-10. 10-10 till we do it again. Mitch Mabe, the first baseman, he drills one into the gap. This may get by. He's going to go at least two. Having a solid game. Easily into second with that double. Two outs, one runner on. Dennis Shrum, the batter. Trum, a second team all conference. Chris Larson, second team all conference. And that retires the side. Bottom of the fourth, Woodlaw only one run. So as we move into the top half of the fifth inning, Sinister 10, Woodlaw 10. Be back in a moment.
Jack Bowker, the second baseman, the batter. And Sinister will bat here in the top of the fifth. Excuse me, Shane Phil. No. 04, Shane Phil. Next up, Gene Shop versus Albert Coco, the scene. Here we go. Bowker was the hitter. He was 4 0 oh, 4. It's Doug Shanefield. Takes the walk. Runners at first and second. Nobody out. Willie Allen, the batter. In there for strike one. Line shot for the first out. Right at Shrum, the shortstop. One away, runner still at first and second. Brings up Billy Barrett, the pitcher. Just a bit outside, ball one. Barrett. That's towards right center. That's in the gap. Two runs will score. The ball was hit pretty good by Billy Barrett. He goes in the second with a stand up double. Two runs come across. Sinister now leads 12 to 10 over Woodlaw, and we're in the top half of the fifth inning. Stepping to the plate, Jeff Shooter McGavin. Gavin looks at a strike. Mocciarelli, one of the most active pitchers in U-Triple-S-A. Always puts on a show. One ball, one strike, one out. And Gavin shoots it up the middle. Barrett in the third. McGavin over at first. And Rick said logic. The batter, number 44, center fielder. With a chance to extend the lead. Said logic drives in Barrett. That's 13 now for Sinister, 10 for Woodlaw. 
So Sedlogic on first, McGavin on second, Philby the batter, and a home run is last at bat. Only one out. Philby hits it hard, and that ball jumps over the right field fence into the bullpen. Three-run shot. 16 now for Sinister. As they've scored six here in the top half to six. Todd Gerling at the plate with one away, flying into center field. That's out number two. As Rick mentioned, we are in the top of the fifth. Sinister and Woodlaw. There's only one first round game left after this one. And there's a double for Casey Rogowski. And Steve Edwards now batting. This one's hit towards the gap. It's going to score a run on a triple. Here's Chris Kirian for Sinister. And a left, Kirian retired. Sinister, Sinister scoring seven in the top of the fifth at 17 to 10. Their lead over Woodlaw. Taisha Sports is the official apparel partner of the USSA. With Taisha Sports, you can have your team looking like the pros with personalized youth packages starting at around only $100 per player. This package includes one personalized jersey, a pair of pants, backpack, and a Taisha Sports flex fit cap. Go to TaishaSports.com where you'll find additional items to suit your sporting needs, such as high quality roller bags, batting gloves, and footwear. Taisha Sports, where it begins.
One, two, one, two. John Dutch at the plate, 17 to 10, Woodlaw desperately needing to make a move here. <clears throat> this one going all the way to the wall. And a double there for John Dutch. All right, Rick back with us. As always, trying to take care of things. Dennis is on third. This yes, ball's going to carry. <clears throat> Justin Valenti in the corner off the wall. Rogowski, no chance. Rogowski chasing after it long and deep crashes into the outfield wall. Good thing his pad is unable to make the catch. And Valenti goes into third with a triple. Two runs come across. And Bernie, it's now 17-12. And Steve Wheely checking into the box. Wheely towards center field. Making the play. Rick said lot. Rick said logic. Say that three times fast. You can't. <laughs> Rick with a nice running catch. Does score a run to make it 17-13, but there's one out. And here's Randall Poplin. Gene Shop and Albacoco's the final first round game coming your way next. This one hit into left field. There's a base hit for Poplin. So three runs in so far for Woodlaw, 17-13. Poplin on the first, one away. That ball shoots right through the middle. Runners now in first and second. Doug Wood, <clears throat> is that a double play? Four, six, three, inning over. Five innings complete, it's Sinister leading 17-13.
Sixth inning. Sinister. They've scored three in the third, five in the fourth, and seven in the fifth. Oh. He got him at it first. Mighty close play. Boker retired. 5 3. And Shane fell now at the plate. With one away. 17 13 our score. Base hit into center. That'll bring up Allen. Take a look at our brackets. So far, we have seen AJS defeat all Braves. Dan Smith taking down Hubs Pub. GTL, that was the game of the tournament so far, taking down Team Combat. They'll face either Albacocos or Gene Chop. That game is next. And here, the winner is looking to take on Fence Brokers. And in the final part of our bracket, Logo Express advanced as they'll take on Resmondo. Allen. Uh, somehow that scooted through. Bill Barrett. It's going to score a run. As Barrett's retired, we'll go back to the top of the lineup. And McGavin, the shortstop, at the plate. McGavin so far two for four. He has two runs scored, but zero RBIs. And he cranks this one out to left to Valenti, who catches it on one hop. And the throw to home. It's not in time. Sinister, their second run of the inning. Willie Allen hustling in to score. So that does give McGavin his first RBI of the game. 18 for Sinister. 13 for Woodlaw, top half the sixth. Rick and Logic. Four to four. Down the right field line, and it's turning foul. Ooh, right at my Dirty. car. That's the right field corner. Uh oh. That's the one I didn't want to see. No, sir. Yeah. Said Logic with the base hit. And misplayed in center field by Parfit. That'll put runners on the corners as Philby, the catcher. How about this for day? He's three for three, four runs scored, and five RBIs. 
It's a filthy day for Philby. There you go. Rick, I know we talked about it in the break. We've not been ke keeping up with some of our Facebook.com comments and our USSA slow pitch softball. Josh Wiggins was writing, if Woodlaw is to lose this game, do their bats still get tested again? And if they do, are they out of the tournament if any bats fail? And that was certainly something we wanted to touch upon again. For those of you that are joining us, there was a little bit of an issue at the beginning on the number of bats <coughs> in Woodlaw's barrel. Yeah, they went from 20 to 21. Bats were counted downstairs once they get out to the top step and verified, and they had an added a bat, Woodlaw did. So the rule is, win or lose, we will test the bats. If you win the game and you have a bat that fails compression, you will forfeit that game. All bats that fail will be taken from the game, but they do not forfeit out of the tournament. If they lose, same thing. We will test all bats. If any of them fail, those will be pulled. They won't get them back to the end of the tournament. So, they, The worst case scenario is they could forfeit one game, but they do not forfeit the tournament. Nice play by the middle infielder. Good explanation there, Rick. We want to keep everybody abreast of what's happening and being open as uh, we possibly can about this Men's Major World Series. Right now, it's Sinister with a commanding lead there up 20 to 13. Twenty-one thirteen, Woodlaw at the plate. Chris Larson at the plate. Went oh, foul down the line.
on the ground. That should be an easy play. And it is. Larson retired. Here's Mitch Maeve. Pitches inside. And there's a walk. And Trum retired. Front number two. Brings up Mark Dennis. And time is called, we'll have a conference. So Dennis at the plate after the talk. This one hit towards the gap. And it's going to bounce over the wall for a ground rule double. Nineteen fourteen.
John Dutch at the plate with two in scoring position and two out. 19-14. And that walk will load the bases. 